guys, it's Laura and you're watching Laura X Annie and welcome back to Magical Mondays on my channel where we discuss everything Harry Potter related. Yes, I'm using the same wand, yes, I'm dressed the same. If you haven't seen me explaining my Harry Potter character, song, playlist things, it'll be linked up there. Um, but today, I guess I'm more in the attire than I was for Harry. I am doing Draco's. I have done two Draco playlists, of course, they will be here and they'll be linked down below as well. So give them a watch if you want. And yeah, so just like my Harry one, I will be explaining the thoughts and reasons behind all 20 songs. 10 from the first playlist, 10 from the second playlist. And as per usual, the 10 from the first weren't really that thought out. The 10 from the second were more thought out and I just hit myself in the eye with this. So I'm going to put it down. So, let's get right into the explaining. So the first song on my original Draco Malfoy playlist was Dark Times by The Weeknd featuring Ed Sheeran. Guess that's pretty self-explanatory due to the fact that Draco was going through many dark times. Second was Goner by 21 Pilots. <laughs> Draco's playlist was a lot darker than Harry's. Um, I was actually going through a dark time when I did Draco's playlist, so that explains a lot. Um, but Goner by 21 Pilots, so that's kind of self explanatory. Number three was Casual Affair by Panic at the Disco. <laughs> okay. I like to think that was. Um, I, I like to think after reading Fix. As I explained in my Harry one, I get loads of inspiration from Fix. There's been a few Fix where um, Draco's been the other man, so to say, or the other woman, if Harry's with Ginny in the, in the Fix. Um, and yeah, I think casual affair, like they had a casual affair. Number four is Gasoline by Halsey. that is one of the best songs ever and yes I definitely think that's very much a Draco song. Number five is Teen Idol by Marina and the Diamonds. I really like the idea of this song. I think my idea was that Draco is um, the song is kind of about wanting to be a teen idol and Draco wants to be the most popular boy in school and he becomes a bully and it's like talking about being suicidal in it and I just think that line really kind of threw me and I was like oh my god that's so Draco's thinking behind being a teen idol. Um, number six is Teenagers by My Chemical Romance. It looks with all the lies in the books to make a citizen out of you. Um, Millie will kill me for having that in a in a Harry Potter playlist, of course she will. But I think this is a very good song for Draco himself. Um number seven, yeah, is Applause by Lady Gaga. Um, because obviously Draco is a absolute humongous drama queen and lives for the applause. Am I right? Am I right, folks? Number eight is <laughs> another song that I can't mention now that I've just realised. When I put this song in the playlist, the stuff about this singer had not come out and we didn't know that she was a shitstorm but apparently she's bringing out a new album, blah blah blah. Go on to the playlist, see song number eight, you'll know what it is. I can't exactly explain it now. It's just like the Harry playlist. At the time, at the time of filming these and recording these, 
I was not aware or had not put two and two together, especially with, because I filmed this at the, in the April of 2017, I filmed the, Dra uh, the Draco playlist, so song number eight, it hadn't come out yet about her, so that's why. Um, number nine is Why Worry by Set It Off. And I like that, it's a bit of a dark song but quite upbeat, I do like that. And number 10 is Smile by Mickey Echo. Oh, which is a really kind of dark and upbeat song as well. Now, on to the ones I have actually properly written about. This is the Draco Mal Malfoy playlist, second edition. First song in this is Wonderland by Taylor Swift. No, I did not just put this on because I love Taylor Swift. I did put this on for a reason. So the lyrics is, didn't they tell us don't rush into things? Didn't you flash your green eyes at me? Another lyric is, but there were strangers watching and the whispers turned to talking and talking turned to screams. Oh, so. I like to see this as after Hogwarts, obviously as I said inspired by Fix, after Hogwarts Harry and Draco meet at a pub, kind of do the apologies, get a bit drunk, end up screwing and end up getting into a relationship that's slightly toxic and Draco's kind of like didn't they tell us not to rush into things but you flash your green eyes at me and um, the strangers watching and talking and everyone's screaming that Harry, the chosen one, is dating a Death Eater. So that was kind of that. Number two is I Bet My Life by Imagine Dragons. I know I took the path that you would never go for me. I know I let you down tonight. The lyric says, I know I took the path that you never want for me, you would never want for me. I know I let you down, didn't I? I was like, who do I see this song that Drake was thinking about? And I think it's about Narcissa. Because Narcissa never wanted Draco to get the dark mark, never wanted him to be that way. So I think that song is kind of dedicated to his mother and being like, I know you didn't want me to take this path. Well, I did. Number three is Alibi by Bradley Cooper. Don't ask me about tomorrow, but tell me about my past. My heart is yours to borrow, ain't nothing meant to last. If you can't tell, I was on a Star is Born kick when I did this. Um, I told my dying daddy that I had to run away, looked him in the eyes and said there ain't no other way. And I like to think that this is after Hogwarts. Um, it's all finished. He goes to Azkaban to see his father and he's basically like, I'm running away, I've been acquitted, I'm because of Harry, but I'm now running away because I can't be here anymore. Um, number four is Stone Cold by Demi Lovato. Stone Cold, Stone Cold, you see me standing where I'm dying on your thirsty. Cold, Stone Cold. Lyrics. Stone cold, stone cold, you see me standing but I'm dying on the floor and also I was your amber but now I'm, but now she's your shade of gold. I like to think of this as in sixth year when um, basically Harry nearly kills Draco and then he sees Harry and Ginny together and they had a wee bit of a, a fling before that. Um, number five is Bonfire Heart by James Blunt. <laughs> Your love is like a soldier, loyal till you die, and I've been looking at the stars for a long, long time. I've been put, I've putting out fires all my life. So I think this has kind of been like his love for Harry and how you know, um, you know, he really, really loves Harry, and it's like a bonfire heart. Um, number six, Skyscraper by Demi Lovato. Will he make you feel better to watch me while I bleed? All my windows Would it make you feel better to watch me while I bleed? Self explanatory, end of six year symptom therapy. I've quite a few songs in this that have actually got to do with that. And I think that's kind of the most kind of realist song on that thing that's like 
you know, but also says that he's want to kind of build himself back up. Number seven is You Don't Own Me by Grace featuring g Easy. <laughs> You don't owe me, don't try to change me in any way. So that's kind of Draco being like after Hogwarts and he's redeemed himself, all this sort of stuff and he's like don't try to change me. Like I might not be a Death Eater anymore but try not to change completely everything about my personality. You know. Number eight is I'm a Mess by Bibi Rexa. <laughs> I'm a mess, I'm a loser, I'm a hater, I'm a user. Obviously, now that he's done with Hogwarts, he's still this bit of a mess. And I think that's straight after it. Number nine is Lovely by Billie Eilish and Khalid. Don't Oh, I hope someday I'll make it out of here, even if it takes all night or a hundred years. Need a place to hide, but I can't find one near. Wanna feel alive outside, I can fight my fear. Yeah, I think this is kind of in six year, at the end of six year, kind of when he's doing the vanishing cabinets and he's like, one day I'm gonna make it out of Hogwarts. I'm gonna make it out of everywhere and I'm just gonna run away. Number 10 is Bleeding Out by Imagine Dragons. <laughs> And that's pretty self-explanatory, six year the Septim Servia curse. So, that was me explaining all the reasoning behind my um, Draco songs. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, yeah, I'll probably do a Drabby one at some point when I get the new Drabby playlist up, which will be in two weeks, because um, I need more time to, you know, get new makeup and also sort out and probably straighten that blonde wig because yes of course I'll be sticking the blonde wig on again why am I like this I don't know I could realistically just do this but you know your gal likes to be extra so that was that um this Thursday's video once again not a clue not planned that far in advance it's much easier to plan my Marvel Mondays and my magical Mondays than it is to plan my Thursday videos. Um, next Monday's video will be a Marvel Monday and it will be what went wrong with Endgame because it's a very long list. So I will see you guys on Thursday for a new video. See you then. Bye!